Okay, the next calculation I want to do is what we call the money decimal. And that is, this is going to help you if you're negotiating an oil and gas lease or if you're on the phone with an owner and they don't understand the impact of what their royalty payment is. So what we're going to do is convert the royalty fractions in the oil and gas lease to dollars. Now, this also works with overriding royalties and other uh, working interest fractions. But for purposes of today, we're just going to focus on the royalty fraction in that oil and gas lease. So your landowner is going to say, well, that's all well and good. Um, 1 eighth equal a 0.125 decimal equal a 12.5%. But how does that affect my bottom line? In other words, how much money am I going to get in my check because I have a 1 eighth royalty versus if I have a 3 sixteenths or a 1 fifth royalty? So let's say that the, the landowner has a 0.125 or 1 eighth royalty fraction in the oil and gas lease. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, landowner, royalty owner, if you have, if the oil and gas company has $1,000 worth of profits, what we're going to do is we're going to take that decimal, that times 0.125, and we're going to multiply that. So 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, and 5 times 1 is 5. Or we could have just said 1,000 times 5 is 5,000, but we're doing it out longhand. So we will embed it in our memory. Now I'm going to put down a place 0, and I'm going to say 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 1 is 2. And then I'm going to put two place zeros down. Now I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to say 1,000 times 1 is 1,000. So I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, and 1. So let's add it up. This is 0. This is 0. This is 0. This is 5. This is 2. And this is 1. Now, I haven't even done anything with this decimal yet. But what I'm going to do to convert this 1 eighth to a royalty fraction is I'm going to say, I'm going to move this decimal over as many places as I need to to get it to the end of the number. So in this case, it's going to be 1, 2, and 3. And then I'm going to start from the back with the quotient that I have just calculated. And I'm going to move that decimal place over one, two, three times, because there's three up here and three here, and I'm going to put that decimal right here, and that's going to become the money decimal. So on a one-eighth royalty interest, if the owner owns 100% interest in the property, then that royalty owner is going to get $125 for every $1,000 worth of profits that the oil and gas company makes. So now let's look at what the oil and gas company is going to make. If the lessor or the, oil and, or the royalty owner is making an eighth, that leaves a seven-eighths for the oil and gas company. So let's again look at 1000 got $1,000 worth of profits. And now we're going to multiply that times 0.875. Okay. We're going to do it easy this time. We're going to say 5 times 1,000. It's going to be 5,000. We're going to put our place 0 there, and we're going to say 7 times 1,000 is 7,000. 1, 2, 3, 7. Then we're going to put two place zeros here, and we're going to say 8 times 1,000 is 8,000. 1, 2, 3, 8. Then we're going to add that up. That's going to be a 0. Zero, zero, five, seven, eight. Now let's look at the decimal. It's going to take us three. We're going to have to move this decimal three places to get it to the end of the number. So we're going to move it over three places to the left down here. One, two, three. Put the decimal there. That means our money decimal for the oil and gas company for their 7 eighth royalty interest, I'm sorry, 7 eighth working interest, is going to be $875. Okay? So that is 
if it's for a thousand dollars worth of profits. Now you may notice that all we really did was we took this 0.125 decimal and we added three zeros for the thousand to get 125. Same thing with our working interest. We took the decimal 0.875, we added three zeros to it, and then we moved the decimal over as many places as there were, were in our initial decimal. So if we use that same logic, let's do the same thing for our 3 sixteenths. So we know we're going to add, we've got a 0.1875, that is the royalty decimal for a 3 sixteenths royalty fraction if the owner owns 100% in the oil and gas property. So 0.1875, now I'm going to add these three zeros from the thousand. And then I'm going to figure out how many decimal places it takes me to get to the end of this number. That's one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to move this over. One, two, three, and four. This becomes our money decimal for a 3 sixteenths. And that is that it is $187.00. So let's do the same thing for the 13th 16th, the share that the oil and gas company is going to get. So we're going to take that 8125. We're going to add three zeros for the thousand. One, two, three. And that is going to get us, remember it's got a total of 100, so 187.50 is going to be $812.00 and 50 cents. All right, now let's do it for this one. This will be real easy because we got the hang of it. There's two decimal places, so this is going to be $200. And then the 0 .80 is going to be $800. Okay, so that's what the money decimal is if we're talking about $1,000 worth of proceeds. And remember, I just want to be clear about this. If the royalty owns, you know, 100% of the well site acreage, then this is the fraction they're going to get. But if they only own a portion of it, let's say they, the unit itself is 640 acres and they only own 160 acres out of that 640, that's going to be a, dis, a different decimal than their straight one eighth. Okay, and really what we're going to be doing then is taking that one eighth and multiplying it times. I'm sorry, taking that 160 over 640 and multiplying it times that 1 eighth. And as I did last time, I just wanted to demonstrate again, this would be a 1 fourth because we know 160 is 1 fourth of 640 times 1 eighth. All right. But if they own 100%, let's say they have a 640, they own 160 for 640 acres and the unit is 640 acres, then this is exactly how their royalty fraction is going to calculate out. So now let's dream big. Let's look at what if we have a million dollars worth of profits. A million dollars worth of profits. Well, just like we did for the thousands, we're going to follow the same logic. And that is we're going to take our base decimal, which is a 0.125, and now we're going to add six zeros for millions. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to move that decimal over three places to get to the end of this number. So I'm going to move it three places to the right. So I'm going to use the same logic, but move it three places to the left. One, two, three. And that means for a million dollars worth of profits, the oil and gas company is going to get $125,000. Okay, what's the lessee going to get, the oil and gas company? Well, we know it has to equal to 100, so they're going to get $875,000. Let's do the same thing for the 3 sixteenths, the 0.1875. Instead of $187.50, they're going to get $187,500. $187, and 
and then the oil and gas company is going to get $812,500. And then the last one is the easiest one. For a million dollars worth of profit, the oil and gas company is going to, I'm sorry, the royalty owner is going to get $200,000 worth of profits, and the oil and gas company is going to get $800,000. Whoops. $800,000 worth of profits. And that is what we call the money decimal. I hope this was helpful and that you use it often.